Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm talking you through how to do this dramatic graphic makeup look. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to find out how to get this look then just keep watching. I'm just going to pin my fringe back and let's move straight on to primer. This is the YSL Touche Eclair Primer and I've just put a few pumps on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to apply that all over my skin. For foundation, I'm using the Pixi H2O Skin Tint in the shade Cream. I find that this foundation applies best with my fingers, so I like to start it using my fingers and then I'll use a small fluffy brush to just buff it out into my skin to get a really natural look. I'm just going to pair that with the Cryolan Dermacolor Camouflage Cream. This is the DQ1 palette. One of my top tips for covering acne, redness or scarring is to always team a light foundation or tinted moisturizer with a high coverage concealer. That way you get the coverage on the areas that you need and the areas which don't need any extra care will still look like skin and won't have that thick full coverage look. For brows today, I'm going old school with the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Medium Brown. I feel like I haven't used this in forever and there's no real reason, it's just I've been trying new products and then I'll fall in love with something and use that to death. I thought maybe I'll try this one again because it used to be my holy grail brow product so that's why I'm using it today. I'm just taking the leftover concealer from that concealer brush just to neaten up those brows and carve them out slightly but not too much because I still want them to look a little bit natural. To prime my lids I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer because I'm really lazy and I didn't want to get my eyelid primer. So I'm just going to use this and just make sure that's all blended out. For eyeshadow today, I'm taking the Naked Basics palette and starting with the shade Foxy. I'm just applying this all over the lid before moving on to the shade Naked 2. This is going straight into the crease. And finally, I'm going to take the shade Venus and just use this to highlight my brow bone. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen and I'm going for quite a big wing today. Quite an intense look. So I'm just going to line my eyes using the eyeliner pen. I do have an easy winged liner tutorial on my channel if liner is something that you struggle with. So I will link that video down below. And using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, I'm just going to coat my lashes. Next up, we're going to add some lashes. Today I'm wearing the Galucci Glam Cans Lashes and these are so beautiful and fluffy and I'm slightly extending them out on the outer corner to just really intensify the eye look. And then for the inner corner, I'm just going to add that eyeliner again in a slight triangle. The Clinique liner really struggled on this bit, so I'd suggest using a gel liner instead. For concealer today, I'm going for the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm adding that to my under eye area, the center of my nose, my forehead, and also my chin. And I'm blending that using the same fluffy brush that I used from blending out my foundation earlier. When blending out my under eye area, I'm going to use the brush first to just feather that concealer into the foundation and then I'm going to switch to using my finger. This is so I can get a little bit more intense coverage directly in the under eye area. To contour today, I'm using the Illamasqua Gel Stick in the shade Silhouette. This is such a great product to use if you are pale or do have fairer skin because it looks so natural on. Once again, I'm using the same fluffy brush that I used on my foundation earlier. And for my nose, I'm swapping to a mini beauty blender. Because some of the contour stick has caught in a dry area, I'm just going to cover that with some of the concealer to get rid of that dark pigment. And using the NYX HD Studio Powder, I'm just going to set that concealer. For blush today, I'm using the Pixi Book of Beauty Touch of Blush Palette. Starting with this light pink, I'm just going to add that to the apples of my cheeks and slightly up towards my temples. 
Next, I'm going to intensify that using this vibrant pink. To highlight today, I'm using the Balms Mary Luminizer. I'm applying this to the highest points of my cheeks, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Next up is glitter. I'm using the NYX Glitter in the shade Crystal, and I'm just applying this using a wet brush onto the lower lash area. I've saturated my brush in the Lit Cosmetics Glitter Base, and that really helps the glitter stick to my skin. I've gone pretty hard on the glitter here today. If you want, you can just do a slim line or you could totally miss this step off completely. It's all up to you. To finish up, the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rio. I've gone straight in without a lip liner today and I'm using a lip brush to first line my lips and then fill them in. This is a great way of lining your lips if you don't have a lip liner in the color that you need. And here's the finished look, my dramatic graphic makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked this different style of makeup. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.